Today's edition is a very humbling one and uplifting one for that matter. I had an opportunity to visit a very humble home. This one you see in front of your screen right now. And construction activities are undergoing, especially on this particular day. They are quite heavy. This is not because money has been poured from somewhere. This is just out of selflessness and humility, especially coming from children who've seen the kind of struggle their parents have put forth to make sure that they undergo a decent schooling and now are able to fend for themselves. So welcome and let us enjoy this edition together. I hope you like it as much as I did when I shot the whole edition. So this is Mama. Mama is the owner of this house that you've seen being constructed and she's quite elderly. She's quite elderly because at her age you notice that she struggles a bit to walk but she's still strong enough because uh, I witnessed her undertaking her usual activities like you'd expect from any mama in her homestead. So the kind of house you see on the extreme left of your screen is what is the general picture of this homestead. Being a polygamous home, most of the houses are in a fairly dilapidated state and this is Lolo. Lolo is a Kisumu based baker and you can find her on all social media platforms. She goes by, by the name Cake House by Lolo. So Lolo is a short form of Lorraine and she is a second daughter to her mother. You've just seen her mom. So Lolo is actually the lady who's made it possible for me to visit their home today. And she shares her story of resilience yes, and selflessness, selflessness in her capacity as a self-taught baker. So today she's here to oversee the processes and make sure that the window installation and the door installations are running as per schedule. And she's also here to give her mother moral support in the construction of their dream home. It was we started and it's changing the face of our home. You can see now my second mom has a really nice house. I think they are, they are also in the plans of making this and it's really changed the face of this home by just starting. Yes. As soon as I could access Cakes by Lolo, I wanted to make sure that I was going to be able to share this edition with the public because I find it specifically very inspirational that someone in self-employment, especially in a self-taught hustle like baking from the house, can be able to proudly step forth and uh, just support the parents to make sure that they get to achieve the dream of their lives. Even in old age, people still, uh, as parents, I know parents still have uh, dreams and hopes Sometimes it can be very discouraging if a parent has an unfulfilled dream and uh, there's just nothing they can do about it. So first of all, because for us, this is an answer to prayer. But we've really wanted this for a very long time. Okay. I'll show you the previous house that mom had. Mm. And, uh, you've seen my mom is is at our church from the day. to my I'm a shop keeper. My mom doesn't have a city. I'm a soma. I'm a share something very big to her name. But just her business. Mm. She's been she's She's doing her a business, a shop. We truly see her struggle, struggle, and she's always said, "Yeah, and that will be the my best if you want it. But when you my best, come on, wait now." And you see, as a child, you really feel it. As you to ambe, it's it's not like a thing. Um, when you're not hungry, at a CC, you pull me out. You see how life can be very difficult. Mm. Okay, you have your things to lot. Mm. So for us to see it get to this point, for us, it's such a such a very big deal for us. And that, my dear listener, is the general introduction to how this house came to be. And today is a celebration because 
another milestone has been achieved. All the grilled windows and doors are going to be fixed. Earlier when I talked with Mama, she was beside herself with joy. I also cannot help but just admire this house. The way it is progressively coming along is just marvelous. So this is the front porch. The veranda is being worked on today as much as the, the front door is also being fixed. I also like the kind of expertise that they have on board. It is quite slow but a sure move. And Mama was really happy, expressing her joy at how far they've come. I also asked her how this project started and she told me she really wanted and hoped that she could get a better house than what she was living in at the time. So she started by buying a few blocks and she brought them onto the compound. Then when the daughters noticed that she had taken this very huge step, they felt they wanted to support the project and that is how they just started moving along together. So it is not like they pulled some amount of money and put aside to start the foundation or anything like that. You know sometimes when you talk to people undertaking such kind of a huge project, you'd think that maybe they've taken a loan somewhere and they put aside to start a grand project. No, that was not the case in this situation. They just started slowly by slowly. I like using the word pole pole. This is Kiswahili to mean progressively, you know. You get a little thousands here, you put aside, and that is just how they pro progressed up to this point that we now witness today. The house is very spacious. It has this living area. And as you can see, there is evidence, evidence that the fundi just had their lunch. So in uh, where I come from, especially in uh, such a setup, usually you'd have the fundis being provided for food where they work. And in this home in particular, I was made aware that when time comes for a meal, the whole building activity comes to a halt and the family plus the fundis just sit together and uh, not necessarily together, but food is served from a general point and people eat once and for all then the construction activities continue moving and, and I think this is a very humble and kind gesture. I think there are little things that people do that bestow blessings upon them even without intentionally knowing that that is the source of the blessings because I feel it is very important to treat humans in a very humane way whether they are fundis whether they and I've talked about this several on this channel so if you've been here long before you know my mantra. I think it will also be a crime if I do not mention that out of this small act that Mama undertook by just taking her small savings from the chama, putting the money into buying blocks and bringing it over into the compound, this seed has spread to the daughters and now the same seed has given root and branches to the rest of the mamas in this home. So their families are also organizing themselves and I hope you have noticed one other house that in particular has also been constructed since this project began. And this is part of what Kex by Lolo is explaining to me here. She says that uh, every time she came home, she's, uh, she's had quite a discouragement looking at the general appearance of their home. She would ask herself and pray to God that she, that God gives them the wisdom and the money that they need to revamp the look of their home. So far, she says it is working in their favor. And the next project that she prays that God helps us, helps them achieve, is to bring electricity into this home and to bring uh, a good water source because so far these two have not yet been achieved. Kex by Lolo also gives entrepreneurs and small startup businesses encouragement at this point. She says it is possible that you can start small even if you start something from the comfort of your own house. You do not have to rent out or go into expenditure citing um, excessive capital. So she says if you have faith you just start 
anything small that you feel like you can. And if you are in uh, alternative employment, you can also participate in uh, helping and assisting your parents, especially if they are still alive. It does not mean that uh, baking business is thriving or all rosy. It, this is not even for purposes of bragging. It is just for purposes of, of encouragement. So I also ask her what plans she has for her home-based business. A question to which she aptly responds that she has plans in the near future, if God sees it right, that she opens a physical shop within Kisumu because she is Kisumu based, so that she can be able to attract passers by by displaying baked products. With shop, you can always get your dailies. And then you leave those big orders for bills. So, Nona, shop. What a person to have to say, me, not a cup, take care 20. Not a cup, for sure. Was it for some? I love to take it for a dick to a son. So, a pattern with that, you can easily get your daily. Let's make a pattern 200. You can yam and make a day. So, it's still at least to put a second son on days that there's no big orders. And a pattern your shop can easily. Sort you for your dailies as you wait for maybe bigger orders. Okay. Yes. So you bake from your home? Yes, I You bake from your home. Mm -hmm. Then you do deliver the Yes. yes. With the building activities ongoing and uh, my discussion with Lolo slowly coming to an end, as much as I would like to stay here for the rest of the evening, this is not possible. But I want to find my way back to where Mama is working so that I can at least give her a hand and then have a small chit chat with her before I make my exit out of this home. I hope you have liked today's edition. I hope you can propose to support in any way possible, especially so by making your orders for cake and any baked products via Cakes by Lolo. You know if you make your orders for cake and uh, baked products, even if you are not within Kisumu and you have relatives or friends that you want to surprise for different occasions, you can just make your order cakes via cakes by Lolo because you'll be building this home you'll be helping to towards the finishing of this construction and this is the least possible way that we can help on this channel <laughs> And even if you did not want to make a cake order, but by any chance you'd like to support this project, then feel free to send any of your donations to her number. It is uh, in the description box right underneath this video. And uh, you can also go a step ahead by helping grow her brand. So I've mentioned that Cakes by Lolo is available on all social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, she's also available on TikTok. You can uh, find her by searching for her name displayed on the screen right now. Then you can go ahead to like her content. You can encourage her by sharing your thoughts in the comment section and you can share her content so that her brand is far and wide known that way you'll be going a step ahead to support this mission and it will warm my heart to come some other day to feature another edition at this home where the house is completed thank you so much for sticking here to the end i am grateful for your support and loyalty I don't mention much, but I noticed the growth on this channel. We surpassed the 10,000 mark just the other week. And right now we are well uh, uh, ahead of ourselves. We are heading to 11,000 subscribers. All the new subscribers to the channel, I hope you find inspiration here. We talk about side hustles. We talk about personal growth, alternative housing. And we also share freely numbers to uh, any of the artisans that you may want.